Okay, Hetty, I'm recording. Okay. Now, Hetty, is it all right if we show kind of the method you use? This is a little more advanced method. So this is going to be a follow-up to our earlier, um, this is a follow-up to our earlier um, <laughs> a video. Now I can get a word out. I can't get my words out. And this time we're going to use your advanced method. Okay. okay. We're going to redo it. Hetty, I'm going to try to interrupt you less. I'm going to let you make the videos. And then in this one, let's put this cash flow, this waterfall graph that I get so okay. sad about. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing to do is go to the parallel, go back to, I keep saying the parallel, go back to the, the, that model with the, the, the you know, the, the scenario report. Okay. So the original file, right? The one you downloaded from your website. Okay. And I want to copy the method. Okay. Can you press the copy button? Okay, so... All right. So that's the code, right? Uh-oh. Is that not working? It should bring up a screen. Is this yes, it is. Yes. Oh, okay. Now, Hedy, can you tell me something very important? You said, why doesn't it show on the top? I don't know. I couldn't get it. I tried it last night. I couldn't get it to show on the top. This is kind of in the middle of the code somewhere. Okay. And what you do again with this? So I need to copy this, right? So Control-A to select them all and Control-C to copy. Okay, then exit. And this, by the way, Hedy, this is exactly the same method we're going to use to make our parallel model in our UDF. Perfect, perfect. So now I go back to the my model, the origin, the other model that I want to put the code in. Why don't you use the Alt F8 method? Okay, so Alt F8, perfect. And uh, maybe I limit it to this workbook, right? Yeah. Okay, so where shall I put it at? Just type something right at the top. Just type whatever you'd like to type. I'll call it scenario tab. Oh, cool. Okay, create. And then, uh, so I can... Take out the option explicit. I don't know why you have that in here. It's fine. It might... And then just... Paste it. So control V. You asked, oh, why can't we have this all automatic and have the ma a macro that copies the macro like this? And maybe there's a way, but I don't know yet. Okay. And now you have to attach those macros. So let's attach the one that says clear scenarios. Okay. So I come here, right click, assign macro, and uh, which one is it, Ed? If I remember, is the scenario clear, right? Oh, I hope. Yeah. Press yeah. OK. Perfect. Let's test that out. Let's clear. Perfect. And then how about let's go back to the summary waterfall. And I'm going to let you make some graphs. So go to the summary waterfall and then attach the macro that we already have there. OK. So right click again, assign macro, and this time I take uh, the one called um, the one copy scenario. No, wait, 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 because I think that's the one we just did. What's the other scenario ones? Uh, we have uh, scenario clear, remove last scenario, which is for X. Yeah, yeah. No, go up. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it's the copy scenario. Yeah, you're right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. Perfect. Can you just make some scenarios? It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, let's uh, increase our cash to get a better IRR. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, I think I can, I can use this as the base. Well, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. keep going. Okay, so I saved the base case for now. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I think I didn't attach it to this one. So here as well, we need to repeat and do the same thing and then attach the copy macro to this button. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's try add without EBL scenario. Yeah, let's go down this time. Good. Oh no, it doesn't matter. And then copy the scenario. Okay. Oops, I guess. I guess I did something. Assign macro. Copy scenario. No, it was my mistake. I I, I assigned a, a wrong macro to the button. That was the first time it's ever been your mistake in the world. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, excluding EBL. Uh, other things, maybe um, gearing add. Let's go down to 70% gearing. Okay, copy scenario. I will put 70% gearing. How about this just to illustrate how the next one works? Let's say the minimum DSCL instead of 1.1 was 1 1.5. All right, exactly. In that case, you notice what happens is that then the, 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 uh, then the, the DSCR takes over. That really mm. would happen in Africa. It would often happen in Europe. Mm -hmm. now, Correct. Now notice the debt to capital has gone down. Okay, great. Oh, perfect. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm bringing the credit spread down to 2%. Okay, so I guess we have a couple of scenarios there that we can just look at, okay, now, not compare. Now, I want to make a graph of this that shows you how the various things go up and the various things go down. So here, mm -hmm. this, I told you, this is one of the saddest things of my whole life. I spent mm -hmm. so many hours and months making my waterfall diagram and then Excel put it in and it's, Excel's got a nice one, but I'm going to use my old one, I'm sorry. So could you go to the website and find that? Yes. So is it under... Um... It's under graphs. The database is oh. in graphs. No, 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 the, the prior one. And then you go down to making flexible graphs. Yes, waterfall chart template. Yes, and you have to, if you had 2010, it has a different set of macros. Okay. This time we can use the top one right there if you could just download that file. And it's kind of like the same thing we have right now. You just have to open the file and it's got a set of macros. This time there's no need to, to uh, import the macros or anything because the only reason we needed to import the macros is just to attach them to the thing. Now, if you... I, I'm going to... Oh, good. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. and it has a little description, but again, that just has to be open. That's just like generic mm -hmm. macro. Go back to your sheet now. And we'll, we'll put this. So how about just going down below? That's okay. Just click right in line 14. Mm -hmm. Go down to line 14A of D. 14D. And put an equal sign and just call, get all that, put an equal sign, link it up to base case and get all the scenarios. Okay. So just shift down. Oh, there I got 
So how many? How many do we have? Okay, we have six now. Make it seven, six. Make it six. Good. But then, okay. Control D. Okay. But in France, they say Control B. Okay. On bas, oui? and then you go down to lower tenor and and put final case. So you need a graph for the final case. And then you just, on the base case, you put an equal sign, get the IRR. And then mm -hmm. you go to the next one and put an equal sign. That's a little different. Go to that one. No, that one minus mm -hmm. the, the prior one. That's the increment that's caused by the EBO. For some reason, God knows why, the EBO made it go down. I, I don't know. We'll leave. But don't put it on the final case. Everything except okay. the final case. And then what you do, oh no, yeah, very good. Okay, and then you, you, you select the area, including the final case. Yes. So just select the, the uh, no, including the, the words, the base case, including base case. Yes. And then, what does it say at the bottom? Shift mm. control V, control V. Okay, shift control V, perfect. Now this is a little bit old because again I stopped maintaining this after Excel put it in, but I've never bothered to learn the Excel method. Press continue and make graph. Maybe you could tell me later how to do it in Excel on that red one. Just press continue and make graph. Now this is it's kind of part of the old method. When it comes up, uh, I just press enter, and and then just press enter again. And it, it, it yeah. makes your thing, and it shows which has the biggest impact and which has the smallest impact and how you walk through, and it's got minus and plus, and you can change the graph. If you change the scenarios now, it would change the graph. And let's, how about this, Hetty? Can we stop this macro? You could, there are other, there, I made too many videos on how, make, how to make the bars wider and shorter and all that. You, if you want to do that, you press shift control and the letter E. Mm -hmm. and, and then it has all those options to make it wider, smaller, change where the, the graph goes and all this. For now, just press uh, enter and, and we don't have to deal with that. Okay, oh. so that's oh. just a review. And I think, I think we're finished. Perfect. That's that's the one that you know I use so that I can send it to someone else so so that they can use as well. If I don't copy the code inside the model, then uh, somebody else will not be able to use it if they don't have the scenario tab open. Exactly right. Thank you for telling me that. Exactly right. <laughs> so that's the complex method. You know, ninety nine percent of us would not bother with that, but you are heady when you do it so well. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ed. Okay, see you later. Thank you, bye.